Okay, so moving right along, uh, determining focal depth. Uh, technology has allowed us to be able to change the focal depth and the focus of the beam. We're not worried about that right now. We're going to talk about that in greater detail much later in the book. Um, however, early in diagnostic ultrasound development, the focus was fixed or just in place depending on the characteristics of that active element or that crystal. Okay, It was, it was a fixed focus. We couldn't change it. And remember, that's what we're talking about when we learn these rules. We're not talking about how we as as sonographers and you know the manufacturers have been able to manipulate this. We're talking about the existence of ultrasound. So what characteristics of a fixed focus transducer determine the focal depth or how far that focus is away from the transducer? Remember the definition, a distance. Those characteristics are transducer diameter and frequency of the sound. So this is very simple. Increasing diameter results in a deeper focus. Diameter and focal depth are directly related. In other words, the bigger that crystal diameter or the larger that crystal diameter, the, the deeper that focus is going to be. And I know all of you got that with as far as the lecture goes in the class. Um, however, this is the one that kind of slaps everyone in the face and they, they get confused, but don't let it confuse you. Just commit it to memory and be done with it. Higher frequency sound results in a deeper focus. Frequency and focal depth are directly related. Frequency and focal depth are directly related. The higher the frequency, the deeper the focus. The lower the frequency, the shallower the focus. Now, there's that clinical dilemma. How can this be? All you've harped about is high frequency is shallow, high frequency does this, high, everything's shallow. No. Since high frequency transducers image superficially, high frequency transducers must create a shallow focus. No. Never. Ever, ever, ever. So manufacturers understand that this is exactly that, bad physics. So by over to overcome it, all they do is they know that diameter dictates the shallow focus or diameter dictates focal depth. All they did was take a high frequency crystal and cut it small and you have a shallower focus. Simple as that. Sound beam divergence. <clears throat> At depths greater than the focus, a sound beam spreads so or diverges. The focus is the narrowest point. Does it get any narrow? No. So it has to start diverging or expanding or getting bigger again. Uh, beam divergence describes the gradual spread of the ultrasound beam in the far field. So what characteristics of the transducer determine beam divergence? Again, transducer diameter and frequency of the sound. So let's talk about transducer diameter. Smaller diameter crystals produce beam, beams that spread out or diverge more in the deep or far or Fraunhofer zone. Larger diameter crystals produce beams that spread out or diverge less in the far field. So crystal diameter and beam divergence are inversely related. And I'm going to show you a little picture here with regards to the beam diameter and beam divergence in the far field. Just give me a second. right this is a smaller diameter crystal and you notice you have a small crystal the focus and then all of this beam divergence correct that's a sm the smaller the diameter the more divergence you have inversely related example two is a larger diameter crystal 
and you overall have a narrower beam and less divergence in the far field compared to the top one. Does everybody see that? It's a very simple principle. So figure 10 on page 143 gives you uh, a very good picture of that and just know it and understand it and and read along in the book and use your notes to follow it and you'll be fine. So since larger diameter crystals create sound beams that diverge less in the far field, remember larger diameter crystals improve lateral resolution in the far field. Now we know why now because we've already been over this lecture. The narrow, narrower the beam the better the lateral resolution because lateral resolution is best at the narrowest part of that beam which is what the focus so if I have an overall more narrow beam then I'm going to have better lateral resolution th in, a, in a greater area of that beam how do I do that with a larger diameter crystal because a larger diameter crystal gives me a deeper focus. And deeper the focus, the less beam divergence I have in the far field. So frequency. Lower frequency sound beams spread out or diverge more in the deep or far or Fraunhofer zone. High frequency sound beams diverge less in the far field. Frequency and beam divergence are inversely related. So look at pig, uh, figure 10 7 on page 144 and there's a wonderful picture. Now why does this make sense? Okay, High frequency sound beams diverge less in the far field. Why? Because high frequency sound gives me a deeper focus. And then I know that the deeper that focus the more gradually narrow that beam gets for a longer distance and that beam and if it and the high frequency sound gives me less divergence in the far field so high frequency sound improves lateral resolution in the far field and figure 10 7 shows exactly a picture of why that would be it would I couldn't have a shallow focus and a, and more or less divergence in the far field right that's impossible it's against the laws of physics look at your pictures in the book when you read the book and you will understand